good morning all it's the devious monkey here on yet another bagel sunday it is just absolutely pleasant out after the past few days of of that sweltering awful heat it's only 70 degrees out i walked outside and i was like oh wow that's really pleasant because it is no humidity 70 degrees breezy blue skies i'll take it obviously on my way to go pick up bagels their online ordering is down again. That generally means, like I said before, that they're packed. And last week it did take a while. Today is Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there, uh, which means that this could be even longer of a wait. Had a lot of fun yesterday. I'm beat though. I'm definitely feeling the effects of two things. One, we walked all over the place yesterday, given that we went to VB Flea and had to park so far away, plus walking around the botanical gardens then dumb monkey went out to pleasure house point and did a full loop there so i did a lot of walking yesterday and i'm feeling it the other reason i'm feeling stuff is because i've eaten off of program i'll just say program i ate pasta i mean i got spaghetti and meatballs on friday night and had had half of it friday night and half of it yesterday we went to taste yesterday and i got a sandwich that had bread plus potato chips and a birch beer I haven't had soda in a long time, even before I was doing the strict keto thing. So I'm up another pound. I'm not surprised by that, but that's like two weeks in a row now that I've gone up instead of down or maintaining, and I don't like that. So time to get back to tactics here and stop eating like an asshole. Today, I don't know what I've got planned. I don't have, well, I guess I don't have anything planned, I'm just going to be flying by the seat of my pants, kind of as usual. Also, the patio is completely overrunning with foliage. So I need to call the guy about getting that done. So I'm going to call him and I'm going to call the floor guy this week and at least get estimates for what we want to get done so that we can get cracking on it. Okay, that's pretty much all I've got for now. Uh, I just need to go in and get these bagels. So let's go get bagels bagels gotten although not toasted because their toaster's still broken and it was packed let's go eat okay i'm not sure how well you can see this but somebody did ask me for some more information on this smooth q4 with the samsung s22 ultra so i'm just going to show you a little bit about it now i have the main camera going and if you go up to the top you see that you can choose the resolution and the frame rate. So they asked me, can you do 4K 60? No, you can't. You can do 4K 30 or 4K 24, and that's it. So I have it set to 4K 30. You go back. Now, if you spin the camera around, hello, now you can go back up to the top here and you can see that you can do 720 or 1080 at 24 or 30, and that's it. So naturally, I'm going to go with 1080-30 because I want to match as close as I can get to 4K-30, which I would be using on the main camera. And that's pretty much it. Starting out on my, you know, one of my main screens on my S22, I go here to the ZY Cami app. Boom. And because it's already connected, I had already connected it. It is synced up, and now you can control the camera with the controls on the gimbal. So if I wanted to, I can press the record button with my thumb, boom, and now it's recording, as you can see. And I can stop it. So right now, I have it back to the main camera facing away from me, and I am not recording, and you can see that it's at just one time. The lens is where it's supposed to be. So I can hit record, and now you can see it's recording, and then I can use this little dial over here and I can zoom in up to 10 times. And then I can move it back. So basically you can go from the normal one times all the way up to 10 times. That's using the main camera. Switch it so that it's back on the selfie cam. And if I'm recording, you can see that you have no zoom capabilities. I am moving the dial and it's not moving. So there's no zoom capability on the selfie dial, but there is on the main lens. And 
you know, you don't have to be recording when you do that, obviously. So you can set up your shot before you start recording so you don't waste any time. So that's pretty much it. I mean, it's all pretty basic, but what more do you need? You want to be able to hook the camera up, link it up to the gimbal, and then you just want to be able to start and stop recording. And it's nice if you have a little bit of zoom functionality when you're using the main camera. But if you're using the selfie camera, again, you cannot zoom on it. You can only use it at, at its normal one-time factor. And you can only use the selfie camera at 1080, 30 frames per second at most, or 1080, 24. But if you're using the main camera, you can go 4K and you can do 30 or 24, but you cannot do 60 or 120 or any 240 or any of that shit. That's if you're using the Cami app. Now let's stop this and go to the main camera here. So you can go with the video here. Um, you cannot control anything, obviously, because you have to have the Cami app to do what you want to do. But you can go up here and you can go and you can change all the way up to 8K, 24 frames per second. If you go into the pro, pro video mode, then you can switch this thing out and you can go 4K 60, 30, 24, you can go uh, HD 60 and 120 frames and all that kind of stuff, but you will have absolutely no control with the gimbal. You have to use the Cami app to control it. So that's the trade-off. You can either have more functionality using the inherent camera app, or you can use the Cami app and start and stop recording and zoom on the main camera lens. And that's it. Hey kids, look, as she just said, I just dragged her off the couch. So no, I said off the fucking couch. Okay, off the fucking couch. <gasps> Potty mouth. Yeah, like you're not used to that with me. Anywho, we're gonna go do some shopping. We need groceries for one. For two, we need to just go out and get a bunch of other shit and just go around. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna bring you along as much as I usually do. Anywho, it is absolutely perfect out today. It's only 71 degrees and there's a nice breeze, but it's completely sunny and there's no humidity. And we're pretty excited about that because the past couple of days we've just been schwitzing. Let's go shop. Hi kids. It's been an adventurous day. We've just now finished the worst of it by going grocery shopping, which neither one of us wanted to do. Ever. Yeah, <laughs> but we did go and get the dirty hippie some Birkenstocks and uh, then we went, well, actually, we went to Michael's first, and I impulse bought some shit to do some bracelets that I would prefer to wear. And then we went and got the Dirty Hippie, the Birkenstocks, and then we went to Three Ships, even though we pulled into Trader Joe's, but neither one of us wanted to be at Trader Joe's at all. So we got back into the vehicle and drove to Three Ships and hung out for a bit. And now we finished shopping so it's only 2 30 and it's 75 degrees out with a nice breeze with no humidity relatively speaking i was just telling her it feels like a crime if i don't go to pleasure house point but that'll put me off on the scheduling that i had in my melon but i kind of think fuck it i don't care i'm going to pleasure house point so i'm going to go home and dump all the fucking groceries off pee and grab my camera and stuff and i'm going to go take a loop and enjoy myself because this is the kind of day that you live for. It's great to be alive and to be a birder walking around your favorite place without feeling like you're going to freaking have a heat stroke. So that's what I'm going to do. Going to go home and dump off groceries and head to Pleasure House Point. I'll bring you along. All right, kids. I'm going to end the day right now, even though it's only 345. I just did a loop through Pleasure House Point. I literally saw one night heron, and that was almost at the beginning. The water is way too high. So all of their normal hunting grounds for all of the stuff that's in the shallow water, it's, it's just the water's too high, so they're not around. And that's fine, because again, it's a perfect, gorgeous day out. There are a shit ton of people walking around there. I mean, entire, like, extended families and everything. So it, it also tends to, if there were any birds, it would scare them all away, because they're too loud, they've got dogs, they're throwing shit in the water. You know how that goes. So again, I don't care. It was a great time and I got a lot of walking in outside in my favorite place. That's it. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.